You're reading to the children. Oh, okay. All right. Um, one thing that people have told me in the internet, and these are the Spanish-speaking people actually, so, so I don't know if you read it, but that the Lord's Prayer is, is not repetitive, that you cannot repeat it, that it's only a guide to pray. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, it's only a guide for prayer. It's not something that we should say it every day or every night, like sometimes we do. Mm. Not all sometimes. Sometimes because the, uh, it's night. longer. No, not, 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 not every night. Uh -huh. We say that. All <clears throat> so what do you think? Is, 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 it, is it both or is it one or, or we only have to pray it like, like once in a while or we have to pray it every time we, we, we every Sunday? Like I said, in the in the Catholic Church, yes, Enrique, and in the Anglican Church, and in the Lutheran Church. The, the problem with these things is that at the time that was said, it had a deeper meaning. Mm -hmm. Eventually, people start repeating it, traditions start passing on to people, mm -hmm. and the meaning starts to getting lost. Mm -hmm. Getting lost, and and that's why what happened to everything in life. It's people that start doing things and they don't even know what they're doing because they, they just do it because it. yeah, it becomes like habits. a yeah habits. Yeah, correct. But and even though it has a good meaning. If you don't know the real meaning of it, it's becoming a parrot, repeating words mm -hmm. without meaning. Well, that's my blabbering. I mean, yes, like in uh, where is where is the prayer? Uh, Matthew chapter what? Ah, see. Chapter what? <laughs> six. Six. Yeah, six. Uh, six. Five. Six. Uh, six. Six. Levy, six. Five. Levy, oh, Levy, Levy. Levy is going to get uh, <laughs> So six five says. Um, and when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites. Mm -hmm. See, I, I said last time, not to pray as hypocrites. For the Lord to pray is standing up in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you that they have received their rewards in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father, mm -hmm. who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not pray on babbling. Like pagans, almost like parrots, like is it? Yeah. For they think they will be heard because of their many words. Many words. See, it, it's not. It's actually babbling. What is babbling for you? Like saying whatever comes into your mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's not repeating. So Jesus gives us a prayer that we can repeat, but it's not babbling. We're saying exactly what we need to say, even though we repeat it. Like I said last time. How many people like to, uh, I don't know in your church, uh, in, in all the Pentecostal church, people like to go at the front, and you're a pastor, mm -hmm. <laughs> and sure, where you grew up, and I grew up in a, in a similar church, people like to go and read a psalm at the front, mm -hmm. for the Lord, <clears throat> and sometimes they read the same psalm like two, three times during the year, and nobody minds, but they're repeating a psalm, they're repeating a, 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 a prayer, so... What's wrong with repeating the Lord's Prayer? There, there, there's this anti-Catholic thing that people have. That's the, the, I think that's where the problem is. They are, because it's Catholic. Well, but the Lutherans pray too. But the <laughs> Anglicans pray too. But the Methodists pray, pray too. So, so, so it's, a, it, it, it's an anti-Catholic thing. But today we're going to see the two first lines that you I, have there. How can be Catholic when it's in the Bible? Yeah, that's the thing. It's that's the ridiculous, thing. ridiculous, man. That's a word. You say it's Catholic, but it's in the Bible. So, so we should we throw this away because the Catholic they use uh, sixty-six books of, of the Bible. Mm. Anyway, so uh, uh, it's, it's very depressing to me. <laughs> very depressing. To me. <laughs> <laughs> very depressing because yeah. if everything is bad because it's Catholic, then uh, 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 it, because the Catholics sing certain songs is a bad because the Catholics believe in the Trinity is a bad because the Catholics believe that Jesus is God is a bad so. So you never, you never, you never finish. Mm -hmm. So to me, you, we can pray this thing because it's Jesus' words. Do you like to repeat Jesus' words? Of course. <laughs> They're life. So it's not a sin. It's not wrong to repeat the Lord's prayer every night, every day, every moment. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> okay. So our Father. Oh, and sorry for the writing, but my my writing is so cool. Our Father, what?
kind of thoughts do you get when you hear our father? Hmm? If we're just going to do the two lines, but I want to first uh, start with the, our father. What, 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 what? Father, all of us have a father. Even, even though we may not have grown with the father, with our father, like in my case, I didn't grow up with a father, I had a stepfather. Or maybe your father was distant. <coughs> but nobody can get away with having a father. Mm-hmm. Not even orphans. Because somebody made them. And, and when they grow up, they want to know who their father is. Adopt the children, sometimes they want to know who their real father is. So, what, what do you think, our father? What, what do we mean when we say our father when we pray? Like God. Yes. Yes, it's God. Yeah, God. God a father is God. Yeah. I think uh, um, also represents uh, uh, an authority. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Maybe you got the book and you haven't told me. <laughs> I think he bought it. Authority, yes. It was us. What else? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, authority. I like that. Authority, respect, also. Like respect, that. yes. So we acknowledge him, you know, his authority. Mm-hmm. That's how I see it. And his um, respect. Um, well, figure of respect, I can say. Mm-hmm. This uh, figure. Um, I, I want to put here, being the sentimental man that I am, that I'm a very loving man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, in relationship. Oh. Mm. <laughs> relationship. <laughs> Father, God, Enrique, respect and authority, Levi, um, mine, is, mine is relationship. Any from the girls, from the women? <laughs> no. No? Hey, Father, what, what, what does it bring? To you in your mind, Natalie. <coughs> Me? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> no idea. Nothing myself? No, no. Tr- trust, I think. You think. Yes, yes, trust. Because, and, and this is the thing that this is, is, is Jesus' prayer is such a good prayer that when you say trust, I didn't think about this one, but now I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking of ahead. He was our daily bread. Mm-hmm. Trust. Supplier. Supplier. Well, supplier. Well, he, he, he supplies all our yeah, doesn't yeah. he? Supplier. Yeah, when we look at him, like he's our supplier. Plan. Yes. So trust. We trust that he'll forgive us. We trust that he'll give us something to eat. We trust that he'll supply whatever, maybe a car. Supply our needs. Yes. Like any good father. Mm-hmm. Well. But there are good things here. And what about here? Our. What do you think? Our. <coughs> this is very important too. Unity. Oh, man, I don't know what you ate. <laughs> <laughs> I ate four wheat in the brain. Four wheat bigs, so that gives you a lot of strength to the brain. <laughs> this is good, unity. No well, sugar to the brain. Um, something, unity. Uh, um, Community. Mm-hmm. We don't pray to God by ourselves. Mm-hmm. Or if we do, because Jesus says that you go into your room and you pray, but we acknowledge that we are praying to someone who does not belong only to us. Mm-hmm. God doesn't belong only to me. So, God, um, uh, Lord, I want you to win this war for me. Or Lord, I want you to, our country is the best. No, this is not it. Our, our it means that he belongs to everyone, not only to the one praying. So, so this is something else on, on our part, on our. That's a sense of ownership, like our. Yes, because it's mine. Is ownership, but th- th- but this is a good ownership, not not, not the one that I was saying. Oh, oh, ownership, ownership. It's not everybody's father. Yeah. It's our father, and our father is the is because why is he our father? Because uh, I might put it here, but uh, 
But it's our Father because we are in Christ. That's one thing that we have to understand, all of us. <clears throat> even, even though people at school may say things, or people at college or university, where you were, they say, oh, God is Father of everybody. No, God is not the Father of everyone. God is only Father to those who have said Jesus. And, and we're going to read that in, in, in John, in the uh, um, Gospel of John, chapter 1. John 1. One nine. No, I'm gonna wait for Natalie. Well, again, one John, okay? John one nine. What are you, John? Yes. <laughs> the Gospel of John. I think you're in the last ones, Natalie. You're in the letters of John. Which one? The Gospel. The Gospel of John. Let me see. Number what? Number one nineteen. Oh, you're right. This, this, this Bible is so thin that I I thought you went right again, but you went right to the end. Okay, one nineteen. Oh no, one one from eight. One eight. Mm -hmm. One eight says. Ah, uh, no, no, nine. The true light that gives light to the to everyone was coming into the world. Mm -hmm. He was in the world and through the world what was made through him. The world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. And I, and, and I like it how in Spanish it says, he came to his, to his people. Yeah, remember that he says, he says that? He came to his people, but his people didn't receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So only those who believe in Jesus, according to Jesus, according to the Bible, are children of God. Everybody else is a creation of God, but not children of God. So being a child of God, from God's perspective, it's very special. Um, like I'm related to everybody. I'm related to everybody. I mean, it's a good person. I can be a friend. I can be, but I can only be children. I, I can only be father of the four of you. Because we have a special relationship. That, that, the same thing. That, that, the same thing. So, so our is community ownership, unity. Because our when we pray, and Father, I like, I like. Uh, it's a supplier. It's, a, it's God, respect, authority, relationship, trust, and also we we are we call him Father because we are Jesus' brothers. Ah, this thing is making us. He, he's Jesus' brothers, so, so that, that that's why we call him Father. Not because hey, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm your, I'm, I'm God's son, and that's it. No, we are sons of God because as we read in in chapter one twelve, yet all who did receive him and those to those who believe in his name, in whose name, in the name of Jesus. 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 He gave the right to become children of God. So only because we believe in Jesus, we're children of God. So and, and that's the Jesus did not ask us to agree with him, but to follow him. Well, this is last time. This is our fault. Friends are not meant to always be be the um, um, be there. Uh, Matthew eleven uh, ah to be the best. Uh, Matthew eleven nineteen. We we'll go to Matthew eleven nineteen. See who Jesus who see who Jesus calls friends, or who people see that Jesus calls friends. Eleven, can you read from? Um, the Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say here he is a glutton, glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her actions. Yeah, yeah. So Jesus is friends of whom? Of sinners, of gluttons, yeah. of drunkards, mm -hmm. tax collectors, and sinners. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is not looking for us to be the perfect friends. 
he gets along with people. And that's what I said on, on a church on Sunday, remember? The how who, uh, you know, uh, you don't know this thing, but, but there's this group named Corn. I don't know if you know it, but the guy is full of tattoos and beats and, Mm -hmm. And and we put them on we put them on the on the projector on Sunday. Oh, you were there. Yeah, <laughs> you were there. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Yes, yes. So 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 corn. Yeah, <laughs> on, on, only only Enrique doesn't know. So 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 this guy Enrique. So, so I say on church on Sunday. <laughs> Please. We should, we, we should hear him go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I used to. yeah. Yeah. I, I said at church on Sunday. Um, what if somebody like that will come to, 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 to church and how you feel? Or you want everybody just to dress nice at church, to mm, smell nice. Mm. What if somebody from the street comes in? It's like here, in, in also here. Uh, inviting people into my house is is tricky because I trust you guys because I know you. But what if somebody says, oh, I want to go and, and they're very bad and and, and they, they don't they don't look, talk well, mm. they don't smell well, and they look like they're friends of, of somebody else's stuff? <laughs> It, it's a very big gamble. Jesus took the gamble. Mm. And what, how are we to, to, to do that as well? And we don't earn God's fatherhood. He gave it to us. And, uh, and we read that in, um, in, in John 1, I think, but it's also one, one verse that talks about that in Matthew 22. Matthew 22, he says this. Matthew 22, 14 says, For many are invited, but few are chosen. So many people are called to call God Father. Many people, hey, you know, accept Jesus, as believe in Jesus, but not everybody wants to. But only a few are chosen. So, so have you seen that movie, uh, The Chosen Ones? Uh, <laughs> have you heard that? Uh, in the 1980s, there was this movie, The Chosen Ones. So, um, so everybody was making fun of the Christians, The Chosen Ones. But we are chosen. Chosen by whom? by God mm. and there are other texts in, in John that says um, uh, where Jesus says you gave me you gave me the disciples the disciples that just, just, just didn't show up suddenly see and this is the relationship a personal relationship but not a private we have a personal relationship with the father and uh, what is it uh, no, what is it? That's it like this, yeah? Hmm. Uh, what's the, mat what's the mat 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 mathematical thing, Natalie? When you go like this, and they're not the same, yeah? Uh. Yeah? Because you, you did more maths than me. <laughs> uh, not private. A relationship with God is personal, but it's not private. Whoever wants to be a private Christian, uh, says, I'm going out. God is our Father, not yours, not your private po property. Um, and Enrique, can you can you read Galatians four? Galatians chapter four, verse six, verse six and seven. <clears throat> four, yeah. Four, yes. Okay, number six, uh, six and seven. Six to seven. Because you are his sons, God sent the spirit of his son, son into the hearts. The spirit who call out Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. Abba, this is not a music group. <laughs> No, porque la ve va al revés. Yes. So the B is, ah, uh, is the other way. That's a biblical question. Yeah. <laughs> You're so, such a biblical scholar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Abba, Abba, um, uh, and remember Eric and I, when we were boyfriend and girlfriend, we, we, we bought a, a tape, yeah? It was a tape, and then we got a CD, because somebody messed up the tape. I, I lent it, and they destroyed it. Abba Fada, Abba Fada, and, and, and Abba is supposed to be like um, like the closest way to refer to your, to, to, to your in, in Hebrew and Aramaic. It's the closest way to refer to the person that you call Father. So Abba uh, means like Daddy. So, so what's better to call me? Father, Dad, or Daddy? 
Now that you're grown up, dad, yeah? I say daddy sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But I was going to say that, but you said it. So uh, I, 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 I went my, to the, I went to the, uh, Oh, papi, I said papi. Yeah. Yeah. Papi, chulo. Papi, chulo. Papi, chulo. Papi, chulo. I go with that papi chulo, he, he hates him too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful dad, but papi chulo, and it's very, very Salvadoran way of saying it, papi chulo. Mm -hmm. And my son sometimes call me Luis. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> That's cool. But the thing is that we're in the Bible we're called not to call anyone father. Matthew okay. Yeah, Matthew twenty three, nine. Uh, Erica can you or too much. So we don't have to call you that. We have to call you yeah. Louis. That's why he's calling you Louis then. <laughs> you read that somewhere. You read that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> You're making it biblical. Twenty three nine. Matthew twenty three nine. Okay, from the eight, and Erika, from the eight. Or you, or you don't want to include the eight. Okay. Ocho, eh? Yeah. But you are not to be called... Rabbi. Rabbi. For you have mm -hmm. only one master, and you are all brothers. All brothers, see? All brothers. It's still mm -hmm. in the plural. Mm -hmm. and, don't, and do not call anyone on earth father. For you have because you only have one father apart from that from your early father you only have one father that that's what he's saying there and then and this is a good transition but i just want to finish something on the on father um other religions also call their god or their concept of god father but jesus brings a very unique <laughs> way because he call he, he relates calling God Father to Israel. Exodus 4, 22, verse 3. Exodus 4, Exodus 4, 22, Exodus 4, 22 and 23 is the first time that we find in the Bible that God is referred or is inferred to be Father. That's the first time. So he calls the whole nation of Israel. He's calling the whole nation of Israel. How does he call Israel? Son. Yeah. But then let's see who else he calls Son. And this is where it gets, <clears throat> gets tricky and interesting. Second Samuel 7.14 2 Samuel 7.14 we're, we're halfway so we're halfway over the side so. Samuel okay? 2 Samuel mm -hmm. 7.14 yeah. Now we just want uh, maybe Natalie can read it What is it? 2 Samuel yeah. 7 chapter 7 and verse 14 Okay, so chapter 7, right? Yes, verse 14. Is that it? 7, verse 14. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I will be his father, and he will be my son. When he does wrong, I will punish him with the rod held by man, with clothing infected by human hands. Yes. So who does he refer to as son as well? To Solomon. Yes. Mm -hmm. The king. The king who is also the Messiah. So, in the New Testament, who is the son of God? Israel. No, in the New Testament. Oh, Jesus. So Jesus is Israel, the Messiah, and the Son, Messiah, and King. <clears throat> and this is and this is where uh, where the the Lord's prayer. So Jesus is saying, "Our Father." So He is referring back to 
according to Mr. Inti Wright, is referring back to Exodus. It's going back to the beginning where they were delivered from oppression. They were delivered from the house of Pharaoh that we love to watch things of Egypt. Yeah? Um, they were delivered. And this is interesting because Jesus is about to what? To do the same thing. Mm -hmm. He's going to be killed on the night. Like the, I mean, he was, he's going to be sacrificed to redeem Israel to, to, because they were in the house of bondage from the Romans, but mainly from sin. So Jesus, is, through this prayer, he's, he's studying again, studying again to, to, to make things moving. Our Father in heaven. And, and, and this is uh, now in heaven. And these two are, are, are less. Um, we're moving a notch up. We're going to heaven now. In heaven, yeah, we're, we're moving up. In heaven. You can do this. Look at my hand, it's so hard. In heaven. So our Father is not. Our Father is not in a country. Because some people believe, and I am um, so this so, so so this is clear. Yeah? Exodus four twenty two. Father, the first time we call, we know that Jesus that, that, that God is Father is in Exodus four twenty two twenty three, and then he refers to Israel, and then in in Second Kings, in Second in, no in Second Samuel seven fourteen, he refers to the King, who's also the Messiah because he's anointed. Remember, you have to anoint kings; they put something, and then you become a king, and they both. Go back to Jesus because Jesus is the real Israel. Jesus is the real King. Jesus is the real Messiah. Israel is the real prophet. Israel is, Jesus is everything. Jesus is everything. Like I said in the on the on Facebook uh, during the week, some people put Israel as the center of of interpretation of Scripture, and Jesus in the Book of Luke, in Luke twenty to twenty four, he Jesus make himself the center of everything. Which is, which if, if, if imagine if you're living in the first century and you say, who this guy think it is? He everything talk, he says that everything everything is about him. Real world. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you're evil. <laughs> okay. Sorry, man. You can erase that on the. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, Luke twenty four twenty four. If you want to see twenty four. And he said to them, how foolish, 24, 25. Luke 24, 25. <laughs> he said, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And be you're the sure you man. Man. Okay, I know, he worries. Italian punto ahí. Yeah, what? I'm putting my Bible in a completely different to yours, man. This is, yeah. Italian punto. Okay, Luke 24, 25. Luke 24, 25. Matthew. I was copying the right guy. Luke 24, let me read it again. Luke 24, 25, 26. 24, 25, 26. So you were complaining that. So I won't complain, though. 25, 25. 25 and 26. But then some of our companions. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. 20, 25 then. Sorry. 25 and 26. He said to them, mm -hmm. How foolish you are, and how slow to believe all that he prophets. No. Uh, mm -hmm. That the prophets have spoken. Is that done? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 25 and 26. Did, did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And 27. And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scripture concerning himself. So, in Jesus' mind, in Jesus' mind, the center, the center of all scripture, what all scripture is saying, is not about Israel. <laughs> it's about him. Him. He is the center of everything. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where. My fellow brothers and sisters in Christ got this idea that that God relies everything on Israel to see what He's going to do. So I don't know, uh, but see Jesus' words and, and Jesus, um, Jesus is the one that commands everything. Anyway, so so the last part in heaven. So God is not in a country, so you don't have to. 
Although our brother here, Levi, went to Israel, do you see God? <laughs> Did you see God? <laughs> No. He wasn't there. Yeah? No, he was there. He was there. He was there. Yeah, but he, but he was there. Yeah, but he was there in Nazareth. In yeah. Nazareth, he was born in Nazareth, and he died in Jerusalem. So God has been, and, and one thing the lady just said, He is in people too. Mm -hmm. So the people of God, where is the people of God? Is is it only in, I don't know, only in this country? Some people believe that the people of God is only in this country. Where I, when I was growing in the USA, they told, they, they told us that the USA was the promised land, the new Israel. They told us all of that. I was your age, and I was 11 and 12. They told us, this is the promised land. This is, Israel has been put aside. We are the new Israel. And, 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 um, and God is not also in El Salvador, although we have we have the big statue of El Salvador del Mundo. The <laughs> zero. They were named after Jesus. Mm. But God is in heaven. He's not here. He's not here down with us through the spirit he is, but his throne is in heaven. That's where he is. Um this is not personal but also cosmic. In Ephesians 6 12, that's what it means that we're, we're, uh, yeah, you want to go and look at the 6 12, Ephesians 6 12. Just write it down, Nathalie. Maybe you know, a little, a little verse. Ephesians 6 12 says, Against the, uh, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces or evil in the heavenly realms. So this is real. God is in heaven. God is, um, and, and maybe somewhere in the future, I want to talk. I, I want to. I want to make a program, something about what heaven is. But he is in heaven. It doesn't mean that he doesn't know what happened down here. God knows what's going on here. Psalm ninety-four seven. Psalm ninety-four seven says the following. Psalm ninety-four seven. Do you have it? Like, I mean, <laughs> 94 7. I want to, okay, I'm gonna read it. They say the Lord does not see that God of Jacob takes no more. <laughs> so some people just because they think because God is in heaven, he doesn't see, he doesn't he doesn't hear. He's very far away. Yeah, heaven is far. And says, take notice, you senseless ones among the people, you fools. When will you become wise? Does he who fashioned the, the ear not hear? Does he who formed the eye not see? Does he who disciplines nations not punish? Does he who teaches mankind lack knowledge? The Lord knows all human plans. He knows what they are, that they are futile. So, he's in heaven doesn't mean that, that he is, doesn't know what's going on down here. He knows. And where is Jesus? In Hebrews 12, 2, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. Also in heaven. That's where Jesus is. Hebrews, Hebrews 12, 2. Can you read it later, please? <coughs> I read it back. Hebrews 12, 12, 2, yeah? Hebrews 12, 2, yes. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author. And perfect of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning his shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The throne of God is in heaven. So where is Jesus? At the mm -hmm. right hand of God. And, and this is very difficult because I'm gonna give a talk. Ah, who can draw? Nobody can draw. Yeah? You can draw. <laughs> but imagine, that, imagine this is a throne. I don't know how I'm yeah, gonna. Don't draw. Man. I, I don't have a throne. Because <laughs> <laughs> the last time I drew a throne, he made fun of me. Oh, uh, my, what a shame. No, <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. David, maybe he no, no, no. David. David. Amanda knows how to throw. But anyway, imagine a throne, and the throne is big enough for two. So God the Father is sitting there, and Jesus is sitting right beside him in heaven. What? <laughs> nah, it's Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's famous. Game of Thrones. 
Yeah, actually, there's a Bible study about Game of Thrones as well. <laughs> and we're not pen, pen, but, 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 <coughs> even though God is in heaven, God knows everything. Yeah, God is in is everywhere. And there's a Bible verse I don't know I forget now that says, "If I go up, you are there. If I go if I go to the deepest of the sea, you are there. There's nowhere escaping God." And I don't I don't remember that verse. So I will I tell you next week. Ah, <laughs> hey, Psalm 139. Let's look for it. <laughs> I think maybe one on Wi Fi or something. Yes. <laughs> one thirty nine. One hundred and thirty nine. Levy's favorite. <laughs> yeah, yes, I know. Ah, Levy, I, 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 I was gonna, I was gonna get disappointed. Levy got this wrong, but no, he, he's right. One hundred. It's one hundred and thirty nine. Some one hundred and thirty nine. Yo le pongo a la par del, del, del salmo el nombre de la gente. When they in trouble, I remind them. 139, verse 7. <coughs> 36, 39. So, so read it, Levi. Uh, okay, let's wait for Enrique because Enrique is. Uh, number what? 7. Yeah, number 7. You read it, Enrique. Because you are oh, his favorite, man. You let him read it. Come on. <laughs> you read it. Okay. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> I know, I know. Seven and eight. Okay, where can I go from, from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's, that's all. So God is everywhere. But that God is everywhere doesn't mean that God is everything. Because some people believe that God is everything. Aboriginals believe that this, the, the, there's a spirit in the mountain, the spirit in the rock, a spirit in the, in the tree. Because everything is God. That's cool, and I'm going to give you the word. That's cool. Pantheism. This is a fancy word. Pantheism. Is that where the, the, the pink panther comes from? No, no, that's another thing. <laughs> Pan in Greek means everything, and theism means God. So God is everything. 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 All creation, that tree is God. And I think this is Pocahontas. Yeah, Pocahontas says that. That the spirit, yeah. The spirit is, is, is everywhere. That in Buddhism. Buddhism is another one. The, that everything is, is holy, is, is, is something. And this thing that God is in heaven, God is not everywhere, but everything is not God. Everything else is creation. So we're not pantheism. And I'm just teaching you this just to just because you're gonna you're gonna come, everybody's gonna come across this sooner or later. Pantheism, everything's God. No, 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 no. God is in heaven. That's where He is. And, and everything else is creation. So yeah, just one thing just for you to be aware. Okay. So, uh, and I put uh, God is a better, uh, and God is, ha, God has a better vantage point. And I put Psalm 33, again, Psalm 33, 13 to 14. I'm going to read it quickly so we can do the last part now. Psalm 33, four, uh, 13 and 14 says, Ah, 13. From heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place he watches <clears throat> all who live on earth. So he's watching. But God is not watching just to kick you in the head. Bah! You did wrong. <laughs> because then we ask him to give us bread and we ask him for forgiveness and we ask him for him to reign. So in heaven. So that's why I said our Father in heaven. So he's there. He's watching. That's where he sits. That's where he rules, because heaven, uh, his throne is up over there. So the next next time we meet, we're gonna see our Father in heaven, uh, our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your will be done on earth as in as in as is in heaven. Give uh, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So heaven also means authority, like like you said like, about God. Heaven, Father, where is the Father in heaven? Mm -hmm. He's not. He's not in the car. <laughs> he is in heaven with authority. He's going to come mm -hmm. there to judge the living and the dead. And what else I read in the creed? Huh? Apostles Creed. <laughs> I don't remember. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah. I, I'm reading really this. Yeah, yeah, okay. You read. No, it's Christian. And also, one last thing. Where is Mama Pina? Mm -hmm. 
Where is your grandma? In heaven. In heaven. My grandma is in heaven. So they are with God. With our father, with their father as well. And when we die, if Jesus doesn't come back, where are we going? For a while, because we're coming back. Mm. That's the thing, we're coming back. But we are in, in heaven is gonna come down to earth. So they are in heaven. Don't 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 it's very easy to, to forget that sometimes. That oh they're just somewhere. Uh, they just went pass on. No, they're in heaven. Therefore, since we are surrounded, this is Hebrews 12:1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. And, and this is after chapter 11. In chapter 11 of Hebrews, in the Bible, it talks about all the heroes of the faith, <coughs> and all the people who died, all the people of David, or, uh, of Noah, I always say David, of Isaiah, of all the people, and they're all in heaven. So, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, and to me, my grandmother was a witness of the faith because she said, I'm about to die, and I'm going to heaven, your grandma too, and, and, all, and everybody who went to heaven before us, uh, they have something to teach us if they were faithful to the end. And, the, and finally, hallow. Be your name. Yeah, name. Too close, I mean. <laughs> hallow be your name. What hallow? I told you because we pray and you asked me once and then I told you. You forgot? Yeah. Huh? What's hallow? Okay. Holy. <laughs> this is the Gil old English. Holy be your name. Who likes to be called names here? Uh, <laughs> Enrique. I, I call Enrique Salutus and he calls me. Go, go, go. How do you call me, Enrique? Jovelus. Jovelus what? Depends. Depends. <laughs> Depends on the name. by Uncus. It depends. It's a scientific name. No, you call me. No, no, you, 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 you call me a, a, a Latin thing. Brutus. Brutus. <laughs> you didn't want to say that one. Yeah, you heard Brutus. And some uh, people take God's name in vain. Remember? Mm. Uh, that's the, the third commandment. Do not take the Lord's name in vain. And that's in the. Uh, you call holy, though. That's in in um, in, uh, in Exodus and this is the last part Exodus three <coughs> Exodus let's go back to Exodus we're gonna have two loops at Exodus Bendito sea tu nombre yeah. en español va yeah Exodus three I look at the Spanish so much deeper meaning than English something yeah sometimes it feels like it. Yeah. Exodus three thirteen and fourteen thirteen and fourteen Moses said to God suppose I go to the Israelites and, and say to them the God of your father has sent me to you. And they asked me, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what I this is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am sent me to you. And the name of God is um ah, I forgot. No? no, the other way around. Is the other way around, yeah? yeah. So this is the name of God. Can you pronounce? It? Mm -hmm. Why not? <laughs> no consonants. Yeah. No, 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 no vowels. So that's the name of God. That's the name of Holy. That's why God, we, when, when, when we see this in the Bible, in the Hebrew, we don't say that. We say something else. We say, Adonai. Adonai. It's like Adonai, no? Like Adonai. And this is where you get the name of God. Ya, Ji, Ho, Pa. And now we have Ji, 
or well, I don't know why this became an O at the end, uh, and, and, and E at the end, but <clears throat> so that's where you get on. The, but this name does not have bow, uh, vowels. We don't know how, how, how to, so when we see this in the Hebrew Bible, we don't say it because it's too holy. So we just, we just read Adonah, which means, um, who can, who can, who, who remembers? Oh, Adonai, oh, Adonai, Dios del Universo. So Lord, but we don't, but we don't say this name because it's too holy. Why? Because we are afraid to say it in vain. Because in Exodus 19, 19 verse um, 5 says the following. And I want you to listen to this very clearly. What? Verse 19, uh, no, 20, 25. What? Exodus. Yeah, 27. 20, verse 7. It says, you should not misuse, maybe we read it from that Bible, from your Bible, because your Bible is King James. <coughs> or you brought a different one today. No, it's not King James. 19, uh, 27, yeah, 20 verse 7. You shall not mis misuse the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name. The so, Lord. yeah, so no, nobody will be, what? Nobody will be? You shall not misuse the name of the Lord. Uh, it says like guiltless, without guilt. For, for 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 will not hold for the Lord will not hold anyone guiltless for for whom he uses his name. <coughs> yeah. So this name is so holy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Mm -hmm. So it's a holy name. We're not supposed to mess around with it. Mm -hmm. It's very serious. This is serious stuff. That's why when you some people say Jesus, oh my F God, mm -hmm. or oh, because Jesus is God too. You know, uh, Jesus God, mm. uh, Jesus F Christ. They are not. They, God is not gonna hold them guiltless. God is gonna punish them. Mostly send them to hell. And this mm. is serious stuff. So he's our Father, who is in heaven, and because he's in heaven, he has authority, and he doesn't like anybody messing with his name. This is what God is telling us, and this is serious. So, so we start very happy, but then it gets serious, suddenly. Mm. Hallow be your name. It's, it's, it, you don't, we don't play around with God. Mm. We're not to take God's name as he's on our side, as, as, as saying that he fight our wars. Um, in, Le, in Leviticus 19.12, and this is the last thing that we're saying, Leviticus, Leviticus 19.12 says, 19.12. says, do not swear falsely by my name, and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. How come so much about the name of God? And, and, and you find, and, and, I, and I stopped it, but, but there's some other verses here. There's on Deuteronomy 5, uh, verse uh, uh, 6 to 21. So how come God wants to, to put so much emphasis on his name? What do you think? What do you think God's name is so holy? This is really, really interesting because mm -hmm. uh, even when I was doing this, I said, yeah, I mean, so, 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 so much emphasis on the name of God that he's holy, that he's holy, he's holy. And Psalm 8 says, Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Do you remember that song uh, in Spanish? Oh, Jehová, Señor Nuestro, cuán grande es tu nombre en toda la tierra. So this mm -hmm. is the same the same thing. How majestic is your name in all the earth? Because your name is holy. Our holy, Father holy. in heaven, hallow or holy be your name. Because we are saved in whose name? Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And Jesus is God. Okay, Psalm 8. <coughs> In in um in in, in um in the New Testament, we're told just to wrap this up. 
a final thing. Well, I don't know this is the final thing. It says, Therefore, God exalted uh, Philippians 2 9. If you want to. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him, gave him the name that is above every name. That in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. In every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is, is Adona. Is, this is, this is, this is, this is something for, this is scholars like N.T. Wright, that you know that I read a lot, they're still trying to understand this thing. But they know that, so in the name that the, Jesus Christ is Lord, and when, and when Paul has Lord in mind, he means this one. So in the name of Christ. So even if you if you use Jesus Christ and if you you, you say Jesus F Christ or whatever you people say, they're really messing up with this name. And they're not gonna be found guiltless. God will judge them. This is very serious stuff. Mm. And every time acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So this is the first part of the, the Lord's Prayer. I, don't, uh, I like the way, um, I like your contributions too. <laughs> uh, I like what you said. And um, so, um, any questions? <coughs> so we just got only one line. No, do we don't. Oh, and how long, how long we be? You know, yeah, we do uh, too. Yeah, okay. And um, well, that's progress. Your kingdom come, you will be done. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, that, that will be the next time. Mm -hmm. But is it is it good that we, uh, you like it? Uh, do, you, do you reckon that uh, that you're getting something? <laughs> Learning who God is. Because that, yeah. that's the, that's the important thing about the Lord's prayer mm -hmm. that we know who our Father is and what He does and what and what He requires of us. So He requires us to be our Father, and because He's our Father, all of us have to get along. He's in heaven, so therefore we don't we should not look for God in any other place than in heaven. And finally, respect him. Just like we respect our fathers, respect our father in heaven. Mm -hmm. Don't misuse his name. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna turn this off then.